Welcome everyone. It is so good to see so many people joining us today and such lovely faces. It's, it's <laughs> been too long. I wish we could be doing this in person, but um, I guess we have to, to go with what we're able to do now. And so Zoom is a really wonderful option. My name is Janet Barnes. I'm the co-chair of the uh, SCOA Globe Walk Committee and also a volunteer with the Saskatoon Council on Aging. Before we start today, I'd like to acknowledge that the land that the SCOA office is situated on is Treaty 6 territory, the traditional territory of the First Nations and homeland of the Métis. So there's a couple of housekeeping items that I'd like to mention before we get started. Um, as you know, there's always issues with using technology. And so here's a few things that might help things go a little more smoothly today. We talked about being muted. So if you could make sure that you're muted, it'll allow everyone else to hear properly and stop that feedback that happens. Um, you can put on the speaker view um, so that you'll have the full screen. And again, that location is sort of different on different devices, but look for the speaker view. And if you have a question, please use the chat feature on the bottom of the screen and we'll address them at the end of the launch. And you do have the option of either using your video so that we can see you and your lovely face, or you can turn it off if you don't want us to see you in your pajamas. Not that any of you are, but there's always that, that possibility when you're on a Zoom call. So on behalf mm -hmm. of uh, my co-chair, Candace Scrapic the Globe Walk Committee, and the Saskatoon Council on Aging, we would like to wish you a very happy new year and all the best in 2021. I'd also like to extend a warm welcome to Alice Simcoe and the Globe Walkers from Regina that are joining in with us this afternoon, as well as anyone else that is outside Saskatoon. So the Globe Walk was created eight years ago as part of the Saskatoon Council on Aging's Age-Friendly Initiative where older adults identify the need for more physical and social activity during the winter months. Many older adults felt that they were having difficulty motivating themselves to be more active, and we believe that the Globe Walk has met that need for many. Over the years, we've walked around the globe numerous times. We've walked to the moon and back. We've hitched a ride with the International Space Station. We've traveled to exotic locations. We joined the Winter Olympics, and last year we traveled through the National Parks of Canada. And this year, we're going to be walking the Great Trail. So Jan Graves with the Trans Canada Trail, I believe is here today, and she is going to bring greetings and tell us a little bit about the trail. Jan, are you there? Sorry about that. It's, it takes a second there to unmute. You are. There you are. Hi, Jan. <laughs> Hello, Hi. greetings. <laughs> greetings to you. We just hope you tell us a little bit about the trail and sort of share, you know, a few things about it. That would Certainly. Be Certainly. Well, I'd like to thank Cynthia for uh, reaching out to me way back and uh, sharing this exciting event with me. And um, the great trail uh, obviously is uh, Canada's only national trail. It goes from coast to coast to coast. So that's the East Coast to the West Coast and all the way up to the Arctic. And um, currently it's 27,000 kilometers long. It connects over 15,000 communities along the way. And, and uh, if you look at the map, you'll see that it follows the most populated areas of Canada at this point and a few of the less populated, but it's mostly in the urban centers um, at this point, although we're adding to it every year. And um, there are over uh, 500 trail partners that are in our network. So we're basically a big umbrella organization that brings them all together. And our goal is to get more Canadians outside enjoying the landscape. It's also to uh, familiarize Canadians with their wonderful, wonderful landscapes and the variety of landscapes that we have. And also the rich culture and heritage that you find along the trail because a lot of the trail uh, does follow 
you know, old pioneer trails and, and uh, roadways. Um, so there's a lot of, of history and culture involved as well as, as you might find. So uh, in Saskatchewan, we're excited to be participating with, um, with your group in Saskatoon and Regina. And in Saskatoon, I expect any of you who are actually going to be out on the trail, and we do encourage you to get out because it's safe if you're physically distanced um, and it's good for your mental health and your well-being. Uh, but you'll mostly be hiking, I believe, on the Miwasan Trail, and there's some parts of it that are brand new this year. So uh, you may see some of that. And then in Regina, you're going to be um, probably looking at the White Butte connector and what's the other one that you might be on? Um, the city of Regina has its own trails and we're part of that as well. So our partners are municipalities, um, sometimes provincial parks, national parks, conservation areas, um, any little uh, uh, bits and pieces of old railway tracks and things like that. So a lot of variety. You can even paddle uh, some parts of our trail. So <laughs> although I don't think you'll be doing that. Oh, you could though, because Sask south of Saskatoon, you could paddle um, the Keith Whitecap Waterway, which is also part of the Trans-Canada Trail. So it's a very unique, very um, different kind of a trail. It's the world's largest network of multi-use recreational trails. And we're really proud to be inviting all of you to try it out if you haven't already and participate. I just wanted to also say that um, what you guys are doing is amazing in Saskatchewan because not only do we want to get um, older people, and I include myself uh, as one of those, because I'm 61, so uh, I think it's really important for us all to keep at it and keep outside and keep working on things. If you have to be inside, that's fine too. But, you know, if you don't use it, you lose it. So I think this is a wonderful activity. And uh, we wish you all the best. And we just did an event last October where we got 10,000 Canadians out and they only walked 108,000 kilometers. You guys traditionally do way more than that. So I think we have a thing or two to learn <laughs> from you. So I'll, I'll end it there. If there's any questions at the end, I can answer them, but uh, thank you for participating. And we look forward to uh, maybe sharing your story in some of our newsletters and things like that too. Thank you, Jan. It is, it, I know for me personally, it's been very interesting to learn about the trail. I didn't, I had, I knew about it, but didn't really know about it. So I'm actually really looking forward to, um, to walking some of the, the Trans Canada or the Great Canadian Trail um, over this, this period of time. So thank you. We're also really fortunate to have as our Globe Walk ambassador this year, Sophie Foster, who is 106 years old. She is an inspiring woman and a great champion of physical activity. And even at her age, she continues to maintain a daily goal of about 500 steps. I'm pretty sure that her commitment to being physically active has contributed to her longevity. Thank you, Sophie. This year, we also have a number of great sponsors and supporting partners to help us with the walk and without them, the Globe Walk would not be possible. They include the Community Initiative Fund, Dakota Dunes Community Development Corporation, Saskatchewan Senior Fitness, Sask Lottery's Microgrant, and Forever in Motion. And so we're going to be showing you a video now that's been specially prepared for you. And I want to thank Amy, Joyce, and Kimberly uh, for making this happen. And following that, we're gonna go right into um, a bit of a workout session with Christy Prefontaine from Proactive Fitness. And Christy's going to be treating us to a special Ageless Grace exercise session that'll be around 20 to 30 minutes. And it's a great session for anyone to take part in despite your abilities. And so she'd like you ready with a chair and to take off your shoes and your socks if you're comfortable in doing that. Enjoy, and we'll see you after Christy's session. Thank you.
Hello, here we are. Um, my name is Kimberly Willison and I'm a senior recreation therapist with the Saskatchewan Health Authority. And I am here with Joyce Tremel, and we are going to talk a little bit about the Canadian Trail. Um, Joyce has had a little bit of experience with the Canadian Trail and she's going to share some of our experience and some of her knowledge about the trail. So uh, Joyce, when did your interest in the Trans-Canada Trail begin? Well, first of all, Kimberly, um, I, I'm, I must say that they, it used to be called the Trans-Canada Trail, and it has been since renamed as the Great Trail. Mm -hmm. And the Great Trail uh, name really suits it because it is an awesome, great trail, one of the, the largest trails, longest trails in the world uh, for a recreational trail. Anyway, my interest in the trail um, has been there ever since I heard of the trail. And I'm not remembering exactly when I heard about the trail, but um, I'm told that the trail, the idea of creating this trail actually occurred in 1992 when um, Canada was celebrating its 125th birthday. And the idea at that time was to create a trail that would link Canadians from coast to coast to coast. So from the east to the west and to the north, Atlantic, Pacific and Arctic Oceans. So my, my interest was always there. And everybody that knows me knows that I love to walk. And this trail just kind of embodied all my passions or a lot of my passions. My passion for walking and hiking and cycling, my passion for Canada, and my passion for uh, experiences in, in nature outdoors. So um, it just for fit for me. Yeah. Um, so you have been part of the Globe Walk uh, program for a few years now. Um, how long have you been part of the Globe Walk, both as a participant and, and now as a committee member? Well, um, we're going into our, we're planning now for our eighth annual Globe Walk. It's hard to believe it's been eight years, but I've been involved since its, its beginning. I saw this little ad in the paper from SCOA, the Saskatchewan Council on Aging, which, uh, you know, who has, uh, is the uh, organizer and, and uh, the producer of this project. And I saw this tiny little ad in the paper um, calling for people to volunteer to be team captains, to organize a team and sign up. And for this globe walk, well, as soon as I see the word walk, it grabs my attention. I thought, what a fabulous idea. I had just um, retired and since I love um, exercising outdoors or right, exercising period, I thought, well, gee, this would be fun to do, to promote. I, I love promoting physical fitness with people anyway. And um, I really bought into the goals of, um, of uh, promoting, uh, at, you know, seniors to, or assisting seniors to be active uh, physically and socially engaged during the winter months. So it was a perfect fit for me. So I've been a team captain for for the, uh, the eight years and only involved with the committee and the planning committee for the past two years. But um, we call our team the Prairie Peace Pilgrims and um, uh, just like the idea of being a pilgrim. Nice. Oh, that's awesome. Um, hmm. Wow, isn't that interesting? <laughs> wow, you've had so many experiences with the, the trail and other trails. Um, why is the Great Canadian Trail so important to you? Well, it's because of, of um, the fact that um, it's, um, it's a local, you know, I have this passion for Canada and, and appreciating, our, I, you know, I think we're all very blessed to live in Canada. And, um, you know, these days in particular with the, uh, the COVID crisis where international travel is almost non-existent, it's um, perfect to to take time to explore our uh, our own country and the beauty and blessings that we all enjoy with this country. So this trail connects, you know, um, apparently, well, it's going to be, it is 
um, it's, it reaches 24,000 kilometers in length and wow. uh, connects, I guess, uh, at least uh, a thousand communities. <laughs> so it's, um, it's quite incredible to contemplate. Yeah, it really is the great trail then, isn't it? Yes, yes, that name really suits it. <laughs> Why do you think this is a good project for the Globe Walk? Um, you know, we're, we've moved to virtual because of, of COVID. Um, mm -hmm. Tell me why you think this will work um, for the Globe Walk, um, doing a virtual trans, uh, sorry, Great Canadian Trail uh, walk. Well, I think it's um, a perfect fit, especially um, for these days with our COVID crisis. Um, I've had this long-standing dream of hiking the trail, walking the trail from coast to coast. Well, you know, <laughs> like Connie Calder said when she did a concert in town, she said, there comes a time when you have to give up these dreams like winning a, an Olympic medal. <laughs> I thought, yeah, <laughs> I have to give up this goal. But anyway, um, I was reading also in my research on the internet with the Great Trail. Apparently, if one is to walk across the trail, um, from St. John's, Newfoundland to Victoria, BC, it would take two years, two weeks, uh, no, two years, two months, and a week going at a pace of 30 kilometers a day. Well, <laughs> apparently there have been some people that have done that, but that's for younger people. But I can do this virtually, hey? <laughs> so, and us uh, senior citizens can all do it virtually. Mm -hmm. And what's, what's neat about it is that, I mean, that's what's neat about the Globe Walk anyway, is that um, no matter what our mobility issues are, we can all participate because um, the physical activity will count, you know, with our formula of 1,300 um, sequel one mile and and the the time of um of 30 minutes equals two kilometers so i mean we've got a perfect fit with the globe walk and the and the trans canada trail mm -hmm. and then you know the whole idea of of pilgrimage um uh you know i i still have this idea of of um of doing pilgrimage and 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 now the the um uh the trans canada trail organization has a new app that they have, a, they don't have, um, you know, maps as such uh, with details from place to place. That's and like they said, it, you know, with such a massive trail formation, it would take piles of, of booklets and maps and whatnot, and, and it would be kind of impossible to carry these with you on a hike. But um, this app apparently is is very simple, and uh, like they said, they. When you when you go out on the on the trail for a hike, you you want to leave your uh, you, you don't want to be um, connected with your electronics and and a slave to your electronics. So they made it very simple, and it doesn't have you know any in, annoying and distracting uh, beeps and whatnot. And and uh, you can uh, sign up for this app free of charge and take it on a little section of the trail and test it out. But um, it makes it, um, you know, uh, it's kind of a neat feature. But anyway, I've had this long-standing desire to, to walk this trail and I thought, well, maybe I could cycle it with an electric bike or something, but um, the main interest is doing a pilgrimage. And, and I thought, you know, when, when Canada turned 150, I was so keen on developing a pilgrimage. Um, when, I, when I went to the opening ceremony, there was two opening ceremonies that I attended. One was for the the trail opening from um, the uh, north end of Saskatoon to Wanuskewa and the other from um, the South Bridge to, um, to Chief White Cat Park. And when I was at the, uh, the Wanuskewa opening, I was just so, um, well, both times, I was just really delighted with the speeches that were given by the dignitaries. And there was one woman from Wanuskewa that talked about the trail, um, representing shared footprints. And I thought shared footprints, that's so lovely. <laughs> I want to develop a, 
a pilgrimage called Shared Footprints, where people would walk together and and um, the goal would be to envision a new Canada and uh, and look at how mm-hmm. we could um, how we could promote and you know what part we could all play in reconciliation between indigenous indigenous and non indigenous people and um, I got really quite excited about that and I, I you know somehow I'll find a way to you know continue this but um, I mean I thought who knows maybe there's a lot of people uh, with the globe walk that that might decide to to um, join or or walk the trail virtually with the the notion of of um, uh, of um, envisioning a new Canada and and promoting reconciliation and and uh, so much of it starts with our own inner journey anyway and we could just um, you know use this this globe walk for that purpose I thought who knows and, and then we could participate not only in the great trail but also in the great healing of 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 Canada which would be quite phenomenal yeah absolutely Wow, Joyce, thank you so much for sharing your knowledge and your passion for the Great Canadian Trail. Um, it has been just lovely hearing all your words, and and uh, I feel completely inspired to go out and try to find some of the Great Trail in, in my area and in other areas of Canada to try to walk. Thank you very much. You're welcome. <laughs> All right. That was wonderful. Thank you. That was a a great, great video and gave us uh, a lot of perspective on that great trail that we'll be walking for SCOA and uh, the Globe Walk. And hi, everybody. My name is Kirsty Prefontaine and I work for Proactive Fitness. Now, I am absolutely um, (coughs) shocked and I think it's absolutely wonderful how many of you are here today. So I think that is fantastic and uh, I have been familiar with the Globe Walk for a long time now. I actually recognize a lot of you uh, from the First Step program that I used to work at about, I would say, oh man, I don't even know, maybe 10. (laughs) Uh, It started at least 10 years ago and I was there for a solid six years. So I do recognize some of you, which I'm I'm very happy to see you. But uh, I, I am a functional aging specialist for proactive fitness. Now proactive fitness is Saskatoon's only place with functional aging um, uh, fitness or specialization. So what we work on or what we what we focus on is functional fitness that will help you and um, and increase your quality of life in all aspects. And it's not only that, it's about doing your fitness properly so that you can go on and uh, walk that great Canadian trail one day or maybe travel to Europe or continue to play with your grandkids and get down on the floor, stand up and uh, or get off the toilet which is very important too. <laughs> so we uh, we are a very small little boutique studio, but uh, we offer small group sessions. They have a maximum of five people. At one point in time, they had six people in them, but now we have a maximum of five people and they're about 35 minutes long. And we work on um, all the functional fitness that we everybody works on throughout the day, like squatting and lifting and picking things up and rope growing and things like that Uh, and we have a lot of fun and we have also lots of different versions of uh, of sessions so we have a chair class where we sit down a little bit most of the time we also offer sessions that you stand up uh, a little bit more throughout the session and then we're in advance too And uh, I also want to recognize my team here, too, because as COVID hit, it really hit uh, hard on on especially fitness businesses. And we were able to pick up and move to Zoom the very, very next day. So I'm very proud of my group. And um, 
I, I am, I'm happy to be working alongside with them. So we offer Zoom sessions uh, that you can do right at your house with your, um, in your own um, friendly facility. And then, or you can also come into the studio for our facility. So that's a little bit about our business. And now today we're gonna to be doing something else called Ageless Grace. Now, Ageless Grace, I can't take any credit for this. <laughs> it's actually a program from a lady called uh, Denise Menved from, uh, she lives in the States and she created this program and it's all about creativity, imagination and neuroplasticity. And that's the way that our brain changes. And it's also about how our motor pathways and our neural pathways, they have to remain open and we have to continue to work them for as long as we possibly can so we can keep our brains nice and sharp and we can also keep our bodies mobile and moving because motion is lotion right the more we move the better it is for our joints in our body so to what you're going to need as janet said is you're going to need a chair um, and you're also going to need to take off your shoes. You're going to need to take off your socks. And I'll explain that for a second. Uh, and we're going to work for about 20 to 30 minutes. I uh, put my phone alarm on just because sometimes I get a little into it and uh, I forget about the time. So I, if the, a phone goes off, it's mine. <laughs> and it's just because we're, we're trying to keep time. Uh, and then also at the end, if you have any questions, you can definitely let me know. And uh, if you want to learn more, know more, a little bit more about Proactive Fitness, uh, there is an email that will be put onto the page. It's, it's uh, info at proactivefit.ca. And we have a book that we'll send to you. It's called Long, Younger Longer. And this is our wonderful boss, Shelly Turk. And she has started this uh, whole nice little business that just explains to you a little more what Proactive Fitness is about. So now, with that being said, let's get started. So, sitting comfortably on our chair. Now, if you can't hear me, please let me know. Give a nice big wave or something happens. Just, just uh, let me know here. Now, when we do Ageless Grace, like I said, we want to take our socks and our shoes off because we have spent way too much time trying to fit our feet into small shoes. We need to be able to stretch our toes out. Okay, with that being said, we, you, can, you can have your socks on, you can also take them off, but we will need a nice firm planting of our feet, so sitting right at the end of our chair. Now, through any of our movements, if you want to hold on to your chair, you certainly can for a little extra support. Having a back of your chair also helps as well. Now, so... Uh, Asia's Grace is about the 21 simple tools for lifelong comfort and ease. So there are 21 tools and each tool focuses on something else or something different. And we, it is all about, like I said, creativity, imagination, memories, reminiscing, and maybe I'll be, uh, I'll be talking about something and uh, maybe you've never done it before, just like swimming. Maybe you have never swam, which we will do a little in our swim team here, but, or dive in, uh, but it doesn't matter because you've seen people swim. So you just do the best that you can. And that's, and that's, that's all that there's to it. So the first thing that we're going to do is warm up. So warming up, we're going to do something called shake it baby. Now, do you ever wake up in the morning and things are feeling a little stiff? You wake up and you think, oh my goodness, my shoulders, my back, what's going on? Well, <laughs> the idea, what happens is as we continue not to move as much or our body doesn't move as much we get these little threads that move from our skin to our fascia and they build up. And what happens is the more they build up, the less things are gonna wanna move or the less things that are, are will feel, or the more things will feel stiff on us. So we wanna be able to move and we wanna be able to shake out. And you see, if, if you ever watch a Olympic race or, or a hurdler race, you'll see before they, the, the uh, athletes run, they'll shake, they'll do a little shake, they'll warm up their muscles, they'll warm up those, their tissues, and they'll shake our out everything to keep, to relax their muscles and to warm it up. And that's what we're going to be doing today. Now, not only is shaking good to get those threads um, uh, released, it's also very good for our lymphatic system because we do not have a pump that pumps our lymphatic 
our let it fluid. So we need to be able to shake it out. So I want you to sit right on your chair. And all we're gonna do is we're gonna start shaking. We're gonna start shaking our fingers. Now I want you to pretend like we've dumped our fingers into some honey, some of that really droopy honey. And we're gonna shake it all over the house. Shake your fingers all over the house. We're gonna shake down low, we're gonna shake down high. We're gonna go to the side, we're gonna go to the other side. We're shaking it all over, letting those fingers nice and loose. Maybe we go forward and we go back. Spring it all over ourselves, that honey. All right. Now, shake it, we're gonna move to the shoulders and the hands are gonna pretend like we're the Queen of England. Hello, or maybe the King, the King of England. Hello, hello, how are you? And then we're gonna pretend like we have just seen someone who's coming off of a plane that we haven't seen in a long time and we're shaking our hands all over the place. We're so excited, woo oh. All right, now we're gonna move to our shoulders. So we're gonna pretend like we have a balloon on our shoulders and we're going back and forth, pushing that balloon back and forth, over from one shoulder to the next. Now it's gonna turn into a tennis ball. Oh, it's, so it's going a little faster. Ooh, or maybe a squash ball. That wouldn't feel so good, wouldn't it? <laughs> and then we're going to pull those shoulders forward and back. Now we're gonna shimmy. Now shimmying is moving the shoulders, not just moving the things in the middle of our chest. So moving the shoulders. <laughs> going forward, going back, getting it all shaken out. Woohoo! All right, now we're gonna move to our tail. So I want you to pretend like we are on the beach in Mexico. Ooh. And we're going to get squish our bum into the sand, making our bum print into the sand. So squeeze our <laughs> shaking out our hips. Or maybe now we go to Hawaii and we're doing a little hula side to side. Woo! A little hula dancing. Ooh, I've never been to Hawaii. <laughs> I want to go to Hawaii though. <laughs> awesome. All right, now I want you to take your, your fair tail tether in the back. Your bunny, your tail. Shake that tail. And then we're going to go all, lean all the way back and we're going to move to our legs. So we're going to start, start. We're shaking our legs side to side, kind of like Elvis Presley. Shaking one leg at a time. Then shaking the other leg. Woo! Shaking one leg. Shaking the other leg. Then for 10. Ooh. Like we were ice fishing and we decided to stick our toe in the water. Don't do that. Because we got a nice pickerel on our toe. Shake it out. Woo! And then we're going to shake out the other leg. Oh no, this is a jackfish. Get that fish oh. off her up. Shake it out. We're going to shake it all the way. Woo! Like we got electricity going for us. Yay! <laughs> Woo! Well, we're going to do one more big body shake. And then, oh, and relax. Holy moly. <laughs> How was that? Good. Thumbs Good. up. Good. All right. So wow. now, <laughs> water. Water is important. If you have water beside you, make sure to drink it. Just because we're sitting down doesn't mean that we are not moving. And it doesn't mean that you're not getting your steps in. You can get your steps in and sit down. And this exercise program is sitting down the whole time, which is pretty fantastic too. Woo! All right. So we are warm. Now, we're gonna move on. And we're going into something called dive in. Swimming, like I said before. <laughs> oh, it's been so nice out. And I know maybe some of you also, uh, maybe you're snowbirds, maybe you, are, you have gone away for the winter months and you get to dive into that water and that lovely, say, Croatia waters. But we don't get to do that right now. But we're gonna pretend. So we're going to take one foot forward, one foot back. Now, let's wait a second here. We gotta put on our swim trunks, huh? So we're gonna take one leg, we're gonna pull on, we're gonna the whole wetsuit. Because if we go in water swimming in Saskatchewan, guess what, the water is cold. Put that whole wetsuit on, we're gonna pull it all the way up, pull those arms in, and up to the top, woo! Now let's get on our, our bathing cap. So we're pulling it all the way over our, our head, and then we gotta get our goggles on and our flippers. So don't forget about those flippers. Put those flippers on. 
And oh, our gloves. Woo! So now, very good. Very, very good. So now I want you to bring one foot forward, one foot back. Now we got those slippers on, so make sure to leave a little bit of room in your feet. We're going to dive into the water, into the great Saskatchewan lakes. We're going to take that chin, we're going to tuck it into our chest, bring the hands all the way up above the head, and we're going to slowly dive in, one vertebrae at a time, rounding out. Ooh, we know the water, it's a little chilly, but, but we're still warm, and we're going to do my favorite, which is the breast stroke. So we're breast stroking, getting into that water, getting that feel. Usually that's right when you, you're you're thinking you're, to yourself, I should have done this. <laughs> the water's a little cold, but we're breast stroking, getting nice big stretching motions through those arms. Woo! All right, now the water's starting to get a little warmer, and we're going to decide to roll over to our back. We're going to kick our flippers, and we're going to get those arms moving back behind us. Oop, don't watch the wall behind you. <laughs> and <laughs> whoa, we're knocking the whole place down here, and we are going to my <laughs> fresh stroke. Whoops. <laughs> All right. And then we're going to do a little side stroke, a little side stroke, stretching all our body out. Ooh, now we're really enjoying this. Stretching out to the side. Woo! And then we're going to go to the other side. We do one side, we got to go to the other side, stretching all the way out. Woohoo! Now what's the next? Maybe a doggy paddle. That is Saskatchewan. That's our favorite in Saskatchewan, doggy paddle. We move around one way. We move to the other way. Woohoo! How about the breast? Oh no, we did the breast stroke. The front crawl. Ooh, I'm not even a fan of the front crawl, but we're looking side to side and getting those big strokes in. And then back crawl. Back crawl. Woo! Stretching those arms up. All right, what about the whip kick? The whip kick, kicking the legs out and in. Woo! Now there's the whip kick and then there's the Butterfly. I think this is the whip one because you're whipping your legs back and forth. Ooh, good. And then whew, we go back to the front and we do the, the frog where we lift our head up, drop down, lift the head up, drop down. Ooh, very good. Awesome job. And then we're seeing land. And we're going to swim back to land and you can swim in your favorite in your favorite swimming motion, going side to side. Woo! Very good. Excellent. All right, and shaking that all out. Woo! Very good. So, even though we have never been swimming, right, you guys are doing a pretty good job, or we are not in the water, I should say. We're doing a pretty good job. Woo! So grab yourself a drink, and we are going to move on now to gentle geometry. So gentle geometry is more based on uh, a little bit more on motor learning and control, getting in through our, our pathways. And I will show you why. So we have four shapes, okay, four different shapes. We have a vertical line. So let's take our right hand. We're going to make a vertical line with our right hand. Okay, and then we have a horizontal line. So horizontal line with the other hand. Okay, that's the left hand. And then we're gonna go to the right hand and we're gonna make a triangle with our right leg going up and down. Nice little triangle. And then we are going into a circle. So a circle with the left leg. And keep doing that circle with the left leg. I'm just gonna check, make sure. Everyone can hear me still okay? Yes, great. All right, so now what we want to do is we want to make sure, or we want to maybe do one or two things together. So let's take that right arm and we're going to make a vertical line going up and down with the right arm. Good. Now with the left arm, we're going to make a horizontal line. So the right arm is doing a vertical line, the left arm is doing a horizontal line. All right, how's that so far so easy? Yes, good, good, good. Let's make it a little harder now, shall we? So with our right leg, we are going to make a triangle. Oh yeah, 
triangle with the right leg. So we got vertical line in the right arm, left. Uh, and the left hand is a horizontal line, triangle now with the right leg. Woo! All right, now things might be turning, everything might be turning into a triangle at this point. Okay, things, maybe it's quite easy for you, which if it is, that's fantastic. Continue on. But what happens is our body doing, as we do more things with our arms and our legs, Okay, our, our body is trying to process that information and it's creating these more of these neural pathways. And uh, the more we do it, the better. Woo! And we're gonna stop right there. Woo! Shake it out. <laughs> All right, so let's try another one. Hey, okay? so left leg, we're gonna do a circle. So circle with the left leg, making a nice circle with that left leg. Now let's go with the opposite hand. Left leg circle, opposite hand is going to go into a triangle. So triangle with the right hand and circle with the left leg. And you can say it with me or say it to yourself, triangle, circle, triangle, circle. Tell your body what to do. Triangle, circle. Now, go the opposite direction. Oh, because <laughs> it's, it's not one direction, right? We got to go both directions. <laughs> triangle, circle, triangle, circle, triangle, circle. Woohoo! Very good. All right. <laughs> awesome work. All right, now shake that out. Now we're going to go back to our, our left hand and we're going to make that horizontal line again. Horizontal line. Now, what happens if we move our head? If we move our nose. So with our nose, we're going to do a, a vertical line going up and down. It is so important to keep our head moving because it helps our vestibular system and keeps all those muscles in there around our neck nice and loose. Now the other arm is going to do a circle now. So we got our vertical line, horizontal line, and circle. Woo! All right, how is that one? <laughs> Are any circle lines turning into circles? Are circles turning into different shapes that we don't know? <laughs> Pretty amazing. Awesome job. All right, shake that out. So that is called gentle geometry. And what also, uh, just as a little tad tidbit, is now they're saying too for our, our mental health, too, that we in our brain health that we should not only be we should be doing crossword puzzles, but we should be doing crossword puzzles and maybe having a ball in our hand and squeezing the ball at the same time. So adding the more things, multitasking things that we can do, the better it is going to be for our neuroplasticity in our brain. So good job, everybody. How are you feeling so far? Give me a wave of the hands. Woohoo! Awesome. Very good. So now we're going to do something that I like to call the French Row Orchestra. All right, this is one of my favorites. Uh, we're going to sit right again at the very edge of our chair. Now, usually I play a little bit of music, but today we are going to do it with the all music in our heads. So I want you to pretend first that you are playing on the drums. So we got our bass snare on the floor, so we're pumping our foot. You can see my foot pumping, and we're getting those arms moving. We are playing the drums, and we got a whole good drum set. So don't move, don't. All right, there you go. So now let's go to a fiddle. So fiddle, we're gonna get that under our chin, and we're fiddling all the way around. Woohoo! Fiddling down, fiddling up. Woohoo! And then go to the other side, and we got that fiddle. If we do one side, we always want to do the other side. Fiddling, yeah. Or how about the harp? Playing the harp in through the front. I've never played a harp before, but I've seen them playing, and they're very. They have magical fingers going forward and back. All right, or maybe the piano. Ooh, any piano players here? We can go nice and low. We can go really high, and nice and low, and up really high. We can crusade, do a crescendo, up and down. Woohoo! How about the harmonica? Getting those that harmonica all the way up. Woohoo! All the way, going forward, going back. Or maybe the saxophone, saxophone. Going from one side to the 
the other side. Whew. Very good. All right. And the last one. Whew. Good, our saxophone. And we're going to play our, whew, what is this called? I always forget. But you know. Right, we're going back to side. Trombone! Woohoo! Trombone up and down. Very good. Trombone and all the way around. We're going to take our trombone. We're going to throw it in the air. Maybe not the trombone. <laughs> Very good. All right. Excellent, everybody. So. Ooh, so that one also gets us moving pretty nicely. So I want you to sit right at the end of our chair. Now, we're going to cool ourselves down a little bit because we were moving pretty hard there with all of our extra instruments. So sitting right at the very edge of our chair. Now, we're going to work our uh, spinal flexibility. This is called spaghetti spine. Our spine is made to move. Even with our osteo, uh, if we have osteoporosis or osteopenia, our spine is still made to move and a lot of times it just gets locked up. So we want to make sure through this three we don't have we are uh, sitting nice and tall, but we're going to let that spine move side to side. So I want you to pretend like you're in water and you're trying to pull the water in towards your body. And we're rolling that shoulder back, pulling that hand back, getting, getting that resistance from the water, good. Now let's pretend like we're a sheet on the line and we're going to stretch those hands all the way up, maybe a nice linen sheet and we just were, we are just washed, we're nice and white and we're blowing in the wind, we're going forward and we're going backwards and we're opening up that chest and then we're pulling our shoulder blades over to the front of our body and, oh, and, and grounding on our back, going back and forth. Good. And I want you to pretend like we're in a taffy factory and you got taffy and you're going to pull that taffy all the way up one way and then we're going to grab onto that taffy again and pull it apart, opening up through the chest. Good. Opening up, just pulling that nice taffy. Ooh, mint flavored. Yum. <laughs> Excellent, pulling that taffy away. And then we're gonna pretend like we're a cat sitting in the sun and we're gonna arch our back all the way and then we're gonna stretch our chest all the way up and then arch our back and then stretch all the way up. Woo! And maybe where the snow, I don't know if anyone's seen this this morning, but there is humongous snowflakes in the air. And we're that snow, and we're going to ooh, be that snow falling down all the way. Good, side to side. And we're gonna reach up and we're gonna grab all this ball of energy. I want you to pull it all the way in, get some lots of positive energy coming in here. We're gonna pull that ball of, of, of energy. We're gonna bring it all the way over to the side and up and all the way over to the other side. We're gonna show it off. And we're gonna bring that energy right down to our heart and center. And then we're gonna bring it down towards our foot, stretching all the way down and all the way up. Then pulling that ball of energy back to our heart and stretching out our other foot, drawing that ball of energy to our toes, all the way to our ankle, knee, hip, pulling it up. And then we're gonna stretch our toes and we're gonna lean back on your chair. <clears throat> Stretch that ball of energy all the way up, and we're gonna let that ball of energy just fall over top of us, stretching out the hands. Take a nice big breath in here, and exhale, and release and relax. And feel that energy going through your body. Feel that energy that you're ready for that nice our globe walk and Daffer 2021. Awesome job today. That is my conclusion of uh, Ageless Grace. And we only did four tools today. And I got a little carried away, so sorry about that. But uh, way to go, everybody. Good job. Awesome work. <laughs> Good work today. Wow, that was awesome, Kirsty. Really, um, really good. I, I like to walk a lot. And so, um, so this has actually been really helpful for stretching and um, 
and having and having fun. I really, really, we really appreciate you coming today. And so here's some of the information um, on proactive fitness, uh, their location, and for more for more information, you can contact Lee at info at proactive.ca. Perfect. And so as we near the end of our launch today, I, I would like to thank the Globe Walk Committee members for their continuing commitment, despite the very challenging circumstances that we find ourselves in this year. And special thanks to Lauren Amy, the Globe Walk Coordinator, and to Cynthia Johnson, the Positive Aging Coordinator, for their dedication, enthusiasm, and planning to ensure that everything ran smoothly today. And to you, the captains and the participants of the Globe Walk, we're so glad that you were able to join us and hope that you'll feel more motivated to start your journey walking the Great Trail. If you have any questions or need more information, please feel free to contact Lauren at SCOA and to please check out the website for the weekly updates. There's also a link there if you would like to make a financial contribution to the Globe Walk. Income tax receipts will be issued for any amount over $20. And if you'd like to become a SCOA member, please check out the benefits and register. You, you won't be sorry. I'm wondering if there's anything in our chat box. It doesn't look like it. And so if anyone does have any questions, now would be the time to maybe put them into there and we could help answer them before we, we leave today. Um, but if there's not, um, our next Globe Walk event will be held on January 19th at 1.30. And we're going to be focusing on mindfulness, a really important topic um, as we deal with um, the fallout of this pandemic. And so please watch for more details coming in the next week. And remember to keep track of any physical activity that you do and count that as an amount. So today for 30 minutes with Kirsty, you can add another two kilometers to the total kilometers that you've walked today. And any 1300 steps that you do equals one kilometer. So you will, you will be sent a, um, a short survey um, by email, and I actually just saw it in my, in my inbox already. Please consider answering it. It won't take you long, and, but it will help, help us with our future planning and delivery. We would really appreciate that. And so I, th I see a couple chats in here. Um, so Jackie, you said where, I'm not sure what that, what that question means. Maybe you could elaborate on that a little bit. And then I think this is for you, Christy. Yeah. It's, um, what term did you mention? It was neuroplasticity, correct? Yes, neuroplasticity, uh, the way the brain changes. And you can have a look at that. You can also look up online Ageless Grace if you'd like to learn a little bit more about it. Um, or we also sell uh, books here. If you call the Ageless Grace Playbooks, it tells you all about uh, Ageless Grace, all about the tools. Or there's even uh, cards that have all the tools on them and on the back and what you're supposed to what, you're, what you are to move and uh, what it focuses on. Um, we also too will be having and starting some Ageless Grace via Zoom. So if you are, if anyone is interested in that, you can certainly send an email to uh, info at proactivefit.ca or, or you can also give us a call. Our number is 306-374-3013. And thank yous for that. So yeah, it was very, it was very good. <laughs> good, excellent. Yes, and thank you very much again for uh, inviting me on here. I really appreciate it. And, and good luck to everybody on their globe walks. <laughs> thank you so much. And thanks to everyone for joining us today. Stay safe, be active, and we will see you in a few weeks.